Ladies and gentlemen of the media, a very good morning to you. My name is Lennox Linton, the political leader of the United Workers Party Team Dominica. And it is my great joy and honor this morning to officially launch the Nature Island Investment Club. This is an initiative that comes out of our vision to make Dominica the best place to live, the best place to work, and the best place to enjoy life. We have a strategic interest in pooling the resources of Dominica at home and abroad, and in providing visionary leadership for the investments of those monies in targeted growth areas of the economy. This idea was born some time ago. We discussed it at length with our partners on a recent trip to New York. And uh, it's, been, it's been crystallized over the past couple of weeks. And I'm pleased this morning to present the two representatives of our team who will provide details on just what the Nature Island Investment Club is all about. I'm pleased at this time to welcome Dr. Thompson Fontaine and uh, the Honorable Joseph Isaac, Senator Fontaine. Thank you very much, Mr. Linton, and very good morning to members of the media, as well as to those of you that are listening via radio. It is my pleasure to introduce Dominica to Nature Isle, to the Nature Isle Investment Club. The Nature Isle Investment Club is an organization that has been formed by Dominicans both at home and abroad, who are seeking to create economic opportunities through investment projects within the productive sectors of Dominica. The club is looking for persons, both at home and abroad, who are interested in making a meaningful contribution to the country's economic development. As we know, in Dominica currently, the economy is not doing very well. There are not many employment opportunities for the young people. The economy is stagnating. So this, in a way, is our response to what is currently existing in Dominica to make an effort to bring a much-needed relief to the country. We want to see our country grow and develop economically. And we believe that without the resources, and what is important to note is that so many times we depend upon others to do it for us. We are saying that as individuals, we can join our efforts, whereas one individual might not be able to contribute in any meaningful way. But if we join our efforts, our $100 every month, if we put all of that together, we can have a substantial fund that can be used to promote growth projects on the island. We, we also uh, intend, uh, through that initiative, to create a substantial number of jobs uh, based on the number of projects that we're able to generate, as well as fulfill our social responsibility. The question then becomes, how are we going to do this? How are we going to really get this club up and running? The idea is we'll be reaching out to individuals, both local and overseas, as we said, already a number of Dominicans have indicated an interest in being part of this club. And we will be seeking business opportunities that can further develop Dominica and at the same time bring some meaningful benefit to the partners. So this is an investment club. So what this means effectively is that individuals will be committing to make a monthly contribution or investment, and that will grow over time by pulling those resources together we can then target specific businesses. We can then target specific projects that will allow us to, to grow the investment club, but also help us realize our goal of creating jobs and stimulating economic growth within the country. We also intend to fund projects, and that is important. We will be targeting, as part of this investment club, projects in agriculture. So there will be some assistance for the small farmers. We will also be looking to um, agro-processing, a very critical area that we believe has a lot of potential. We'll be focusing on the essential oil sectors and areas, niche areas in Dominica that we believe that can really create jobs 
and really, uh, you know, push this country forward. Um, we intend as well to operate or to help small firms already in existence. So if we have, if we see um, businesses that's already there but might be struggling for some financing, then we will attempt to help those businesses. So we are looking to do joint ventures. We are looking to partner with small businesses that will help us to actually do that. In a little while, Mr. Joseph Isaac will come to give you a, a sense as to the scope of this investment club, the kind of targets that we are looking at. But just to let you know that um, we are looking for individuals who will contribute, as I said, a small, what we consider to be a relatively small amount, so that the burden is not shared by any one person. What we're saying is that we can have a shared responsibility for our own development. We are not prepared simply to wait for grants from overseas. We are not simply at pre simply to wait for people to pay taxes. We're saying, hey, let us come together. This is a novel idea here in Dominica. Let us come together, and that's why we are appealing very strongly to Dominicans, both at home and abroad, who can afford to make a $100 contribution every month. To do that, put this money into the fund and help us grow this. So Mr. Joseph Isaac will come at this time to give you some more um, specifics as to how the business will operate, who will control it, and so on. And we will be able to take your answers after this. Thank you. Thank you, talk, Dr. Thompson Fontaine. Good morning to all. As we were saying, um, it's a club, and um, the fact that it is a club, it would mean that we'll have a process by which we'll have people involved in it. For example, we would have a common vision of people coming together to in get involved in investment of a particular um, um, design. So um, our approach would be, we'll be targeting in the first year 300 people to move up to 500 by the, five, by the third year. What we expect is, since people have different appetite for investment and also have different financial situations, will range from $100 EC to $250. Remember, in the United Workers' Party manifesto, we said that we'll be building Dominica $100 at a time per person. So just wanted to say also that someone who is interested and has the means could invest for the first year, they could pay their full payment of, let's say, for example, if it's 100 you want to pay per month, you could pay, let's say, 1200 for the first year. But the intention there is that in the club, no one will be overpowering or controlling the club. Everybody will have equal opportunity and equal say. What we are expecting to do is you'll have a base year in your first year where you would have um, about, as we say, 300 people contributing approximately, let's say, 150 as the base. Then what we'd expect in the second year, we'd expect it to grow to about 400. And in the fifth year, we'd have, let's say, a base of, again, members of the club up to 500. And what you would see is in the chart there, you would see we move from in the first year to approximately half a million dollars. And by the third year, we have the potential to be approximately $4 million. That is cumulative um, investment, meaning that the base contribution plus the interest gain or the return on investment as the years go by. So that is the type of investment opportunities that we are talking about. But again, we don't want to give the wrong message as if it is a club strictly driven by investment and, and almost like a pure capitalistic type of club. It is a club with a social conscience and also the vision and the key driving force is an opportunity to come together as Dominicans to contribute to something within the productive sectors. Just like the Jews did it to build Israel, and Israel is maybe one of the leading countries in terms of in agriculture, you'll be surprised that Israel is involved in banana production, and also one of the leading um, in terms of new technology, similar to Silicon Valley. And also, you know, the Italians also came together to do such investments together. So we are calling all Dominicans, 
here and abroad, whether it is small or big, to come join in hand, join hands with us so that we at the United Workers Party, Team Dominica, can facilitate the process. I'm also saying that it is not a political organization. I want you to be clear on that. The United Workers Party is just facilitating the process. In fact, just pass the certificate there for me. We have a name there, registered. And what we expect to happen is, as from now, and we, had, we, we, we actually established the first grouping, we call it a steering committee, made up of Dr. Thompson Fountain, Mr. Louis Robinson, Mackenzie Severe, um, Unica Anthony, myself, Joseph Isaac, and Louis Robinson. That's a steering committee. What we expect to happen is, as soon as significant contribution is made, a board of advisors or a formal board will be established from all the members, in which case the steering committee members may withdraw from being on the board or may be selected. So right now, we as the steering committee, the names I call, we will not be making investment decisions. What we are doing is we have established, we register a name, we are establishing it, we are creating the process. So again, within, so as I said, you have right now a steering committee, and as soon as, let's say it could be six months from now, we will have a major formal launch of the organization where a body will be established, and the board itself will decide on establishing an investment committee with a chairman. So you'll have a board, and under the board, you have an investment committee. So it will be serious business. Also, we, we cannot overemphasize that it will be the main focus will be investment in Dominica, because Dominicans are coming together to invest in projects within Dominica. But there will be also components where if the investment committee so desire, it will look at options of investing in financial products, maybe in, on the international market. But that is to augment the productive sector portfolio to ensure that you have a, a proper mix of portfolio and you can mitigate against risk by having physical and also um, financial assets. Um, I think no one should think that they, they don't have the money because it is a small amount. It's 100 EC, and you'd see how it can grow. And obviously, the vision there is not to leave it as a club, but the vision is to create a major financial investment company organization, which, again, I believe for when the board is established, they will have to decide how they want to outline their vision. But for now, that is the steering committee vision, is to do what we promise, what we do in the campaign, in the manifesto of the United Workers' Party. As we said, the United Workers' Party may not be the organization doing everything, but will facilitate the process. So that's what we are doing right now. We are facilitating the process. You know, um, I think the media also should understand that they can spread the word because we'd rather push word of mouth, use the internet, and each friend tell a friend, so then it can go rapidly, you see the potential. And I would also take the opportunity also to, um, to congratulate our leader for his visionary leadership. As we have always said, that if you have proper leadership in a country or an organization, you can actually achieve things that you think you can't achieve. I think that is the first step to a road that we will achieve the goal set by this um, um, organization. Thank you. Any questions? Yes, as you all said, the, actually the investments will not be solely managed by you guys. 
is anybody on the board qualified? What are the qualifications of the board members in terms of management of these investments? Okay. Let me, let me do okay, first of all, um, in regards to investments, you'd have to have a mix. But in regards to the steering committee first, so I'll explain the steering committee. The steering committee has co-chairs. One, Dr. Thompson Fountain is a PhD in economics. Myself, I have an MBA in finance and information technology. We have a lawyer, Unica Anthony. We have a former banker, who is um, Louis Robinson, a former senior banker, that is. And then we have Mackenzie Severe, a businessman architect. What we expect to happen, and you hear what we said, we said that the steering committee itself will not be involved in starting the investment program, but what the steering committee is doing is establishing the organization, the administration. And when that is established, you'll have a board, and then the board will establish an investment committee. That investment committee will be, I would say, flexible. So, for example, if you are going to make a major investment in agro-processing, obviously, at that point in time, you will have to co op somebody with expertise in that area. So, for example, if you're going into agro-processing, you'd well want to have a food technologist on that investment committee so you can measure the, the risk involved and also, as we see, people in economics and finance. Do you foresee that uh, any of the projects that you all will embark upon will have to get the approval of the government? Do you foresee that? Well, you know, we, we are hopeful that the project that we will be involved in will be one that will generate economic activity. And um, I believe, for example, in agriculture, if you're looking at things, we'll have to go for the natural process. I don't think that we'll necessarily have to get the approval of government per se. Because, for example, if anybody wants to make money in Dominica now, they go, they set up a business, and they go through the licensing you know, or whatever that, that needs to be done. We'll go through the same process. But I'm hoping if it comes to a point where we have to get approval from the government, then that would not be a problem. Because I think the government is as interested as we are in generating as much jobs as possible. And that, remember, is the main focus of this investment club, to generate jobs for the people of Dominica. And also, I think we should underscore the fact that Nature Isle Investments is not a political organization. It is not the United Workers' Party. The United Workers' Party is actually facilitating it. Remember when, if you have 500 members, they'll be across all political lines. All what you're looking for is people with a common vision to invest in the productive sector and at the same time getting a return in investment. So who knows? Maybe a minister of government might want to make a contribution. So, so we, it is not political, and we do not expect any obstacles. Okay. Any other question? Okay, well, let me thank all of you for coming. Uh, let me thank you. This is not the launch. This is not the formal launch. Well, it's, it's some, so, sort of, like in other words, a press launch. You understand? So what we are doing now is we start in the process of formally asking the public to know to contact us. And I forget to say that you could contact me at 277-0445, that's Joseph Isaac, and Thompson. Yes, your info. Thompson Fountain, 617-6482. You can also reach out to any of our steering committee members, including Mr. Severin Mackenzie, Unica Anthony, and Mr. Louis Robinson. Or you can actually contact us through our Facebook page as well. Um, if you go to the Facebook page of Team Dominica, you can also contact us as well. And also you could contact us at, as we said, the United Workers' Party is facilitating the process. So you could contact us, um, one at the party's main office, that's on Great Marlborough Street. You could contact us via all our PAL reps and caretakers so they could put you in contact with us also. Yeah, what we, we are saying, the first target is, as we said, is based on membership. So we are projecting that if we have 500 members within the first three years, 
we would expect, and, and the major assumption there is in year one, you would have 300, and you'd gradually move to 500 by year three. And we are saying that not based on just contribution, but also as investment happen, and let's say we have a rate of, of return on investment of 6%, we'd expect that that type of money will accumulate to approximately 4 million if we can meet those assumptions, these targets. Yes, three years. So finally, we are asking the general public to join us, make it a reality, and um, so that you can be proud of what you have accomplished in Dominica. Thank you. Okay, thank you.